The rim is so oh, good. Oh, dude, that is really The cool. rim is amazing. I dig that. Really cool. I'm Stefan Papadakis with Papadakis Racing. We're a professional race car builder and competition drifting team. We not only go out there and compete with these cars, we actually try to build as much fun content as possible. Larry Chen is a professional automotive photographer, and he has an amazing portfolio and legacy already at such a young age. We have a new shop in Carson, California, and wanted to take advantage of the new clean floors and walls by having a unique photo session with Larry and our competition Corolla. We started by parking the car in the best spot we could think of and moving some of our tools around to make the scene. What are you going to shoot with today? Today, since we're doing like a static shot, I'm going to use the 5D SR, which is 50 megapixels. And then the actual painting, we're going to use the ice light here which is really nice, even light. When we put it on a monopod, we can actually get some height on it. With the shop lights off, Larry would then take several shots. The camera was operated by remote control, so the frame would not get bumped or moved by pressing the shutter button on the camera body. The shutter was left open for up to 10 seconds during each shot. Normally, this would cause a very blurry photo, but since the camera and the car aren't moving, they stay sharp. The only thing that gets bright is the light. That is why they call it light painting. Everywhere the light is pointed, it makes that part of the photo bright, and then you can see like basically the blur of the light as you move it through the frame. That way you can choose which areas are bright and which ones are dark. You can also control the shadows with this technique. If you go higher and you go closer, just look how much more defined like these shapes are versus if you back up, everything is all lit and very flat and even. The final photo was comprised of three shots. One with just the headlights on, second with just the car lit, and the third with our buddy DC, the one that actually thought of using the light in this way, moving the light in the arc shape behind the car. DC doesn't show up in the photo since there isn't enough light on him to expose him in that shot. All three photos are then opened in a program called Adobe Lightroom. Larry then stacks the three shots in Lightroom using a layer blending mode called Lighten. The final output is the final photo. Really the only things needed in this were a camera, tripod, the light, the Lightroom software, and some inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's outside of my normal posts, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.